Okay, well, Ivan, thanks a lot. Turning out of the latest on the aftermath of Hurricane Milton. Businesses across Florida's West Coast were slammed by the powerful storm. And tonight, we hear from one man who had tripled the damage. CBS News Miami's Joe Murray joins us from Treasure Island with more on his road to recovery. It's been something that we fear every year. And it's definitely tough to see it like this. Matthew Powers' three businesses in the heart of Madeira Beach were heavily damaged in Hurricanes Helene and Milton. So this is ceramic. The tile floors popping up, walls need fixing, but he believes he can salvage thousands of gallons of wine in his steel tanks. We have insurances for the, the build back and the contents and that kind of stuff, um, but you know, loss of revenue and we're, we're paying our employees as much as we can. Some of the property owners here have no wind or flood insurance. One owner said it's because it costs $70,000 a year. John Schaefer was hired to clean up and oversee reconstruction. He says recovery has been about neighbor helping neighbor. So you have to have a really strong will and attitude to live on the beach, to have a business on the beach, but everybody is very resilient. On Treasure Island, Cynthia and Louis Apter are sifting through what's left of their home. They will tear it down and rebuild. There's too much damage and cost. They don't have flood or wind insurance. Well, we thought we'd self-insure, and if it ever happened, we would pay the price, and that's what we're doing. Working nonstop, Matthew Powers believes he'll be back open for business in a few months. Pray that it really is a once-in-a-hundred-year storm. You know, not much else we can do. The rebuilding will take at least a couple of months, if not more, and they hope to get these beaches back sooner. On Treasure Island, Joan Murray, CBS News, Miami.